I want to bring up the, the issue of religion because it is one that we have seen for too long and we continue to see being used to foment bigotry and elicit fears and suspicions in people because of someone who holds a religion that may be different from the most. We see this in politics all the time. President John F. Kennedy went through this test when he ran for president, where people questioned how his Catholic faith would drive and influence his policies. I am not the Catholic candidate for president. I am the Democratic Party's candidate for president, who happens also to be a Catholic. Whatever issue may come before me as president, if I should be elected, I will make my decision in accordance with what my conscience tells me to be in the national interest. I took my oath of office on the Bhagavad Gita when I was first sworn into Congress in 2012. I'm a practicing Hindu, and my spiritual practice, my relationship with God, is something that is near and dear to my heart. Whether it is Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, Christians, atheists, whatever the path that people have chosen for their lives, it is important that every one of us stand up, call out, and condemn those who are seeking to incite bigotry based on religion and not allow them to try to use that to divide us because that's not who we are in this country of freedom. We saw devastatingly the impact of that in Pittsburgh with the shooting at the synagogue. This is what happens when this is allowed to continue without being condemned and stopped. This is where the result ends up. The was armed with an AR just revealed style the names of the 11 victims ranging in age from 97 to people 54. Left and shot. With people being shot and killed in their place of worship. We cannot allow that to happen to those who may share our faith or those who may have a different faith. Today I may be the victim, but tomorrow it may be you. Until the whole fabric of our harmonious society is ripped apart at a time of great national peril. So as we stand for peace abroad, we have to stand for peace and freedom here at home amongst our brothers and sisters and recognize that interconnectedness and that we have to stand and speak as one.